This is not your ordinary restaurant, and that's not because the food is cheap. Tasty, yes, but still, that is not the reason why this is not your ordinary restaurant. Located at the heart of Woodley Estate here in Nairobi, we are welcomed to the Woodley Deaf Community Restaurant. Here, everyone, from the cooks to the waiter to the manager, is deaf. Chapati, mm -hmm. chai, mm -hmm. coffee. Paul Sanguro is just 23 years old, but runs this special eatery that has been in operation for nearly three years now. He is in charge of a lean but dedicated staff who report to work at 8 a.m. every day of the week. Oh, so there are constantly three workers, but also like me, like an, an interpreter who comes here to help always. So it's basically four people always. The four workers act as pillars at this establishment, dutifully serving in silence to a vast clientele who comprise of both the deaf and the hearing. We have hearing customers, so the interpreter will have to help. Yes, for the customers who do not know sign language, like the basic sign language, you know, like you can come and ask food. Like someone who hasn't gone to KSL or hasn't interacted with a deaf, it's impossible for them to ask even for mea tea. Impossible or not, the Woodley Deaf Community Restaurant has a steady stream of customers loyal to a fault. It's the WDC Hotel. Uh -huh. Ian Omondi is one such character. He was among the first crop of people who dined here when the restaurant opened on December 1st, 2016. How was your first experience? Naza kumkamara kwanza nyo lo ikula hapa, ilikuwaji. Tricky kidogo, but uzuri kulikuwa hizi maposta. Sae kulikuwa hizi maposta, alafu mzwa wawo na jaribu sana, wana jaribu sana kukwelewa. Ile una struggle. Unakuja... So intrigued was Ian by the services here that he eventually enrolled into a Kenyan Sign Language class. The moment you have a class that is successful, next time you have a curious class, you have a class that is 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 a class. <laughs> to improve efficiency, the restaurant displays a series of posters helpful in guiding the waiters when ordering for a meal. Frederick Otieno is the man whose vision became a reality when the restaurant first opened. Through his efforts, the Woodley Deaf community was able to secure a 200,000 Kenya shillings grant from Action Network for the Disabled, Andy. The funds went into opening the restaurant. The first time they opened the hotel, for sure the challenges they have. The hearing people ah, were surprised. How can deaf open a hotel? With the help of nearly 25 members of the Woodley Deaf community, Frederick, who himself acquired a hearing problem while in class 8 due to a sickness, hopes that the hotel goes a long way in emancipating the deaf community in the area. I'm happy why, because I see the mentality is changing from our deaf youth before they start battle, but now they can't beg, so now they, wa they are working, they can provide for themselves. The restaurant serves close to 150 people a day, most of them with hearing impairment. But through the silent delicacies offered here, the customers are sure to keep on coming. You know, like you, you go to other hotels, there are no deaf people, so communication is hard. So time when Akujauku, it's easier because they have uh, deaf people here. Yes, we want the hotel to grow. It's our vision, it's our dream. Nikikuja hapa na feel, yani niko tu sana. Nikitoka hapa na feel, unaweza kuna ile satisfaction unapata. Nasikia eh manze nilienda huko kwa wale deaf na sikupata challenge. Yaani unatoka hapa kama uko satisfied kabisa. So for the world of the silent, where they lack in one sense, they make up for it in another, the sense of taste. 
ensuring that they tickle the taste buds of their customers at this particular restaurant to give their competitors in this particular field a run for their money. Timothy Otieno, KTN News.